Now, Ron, I've only been part of the ballroom scene for about three years, but even in that time, I've seen changes in this division. One of the most noticeable, for a girl, is the ball gowns. Uh, they've become, I think, simpler. They're more sedate, less ornate, and extremely elegant. I mean, you could actually wear one of these gowns to a fancy party and not look out of place. Absolutely. Ball gowns are constantly changing in this division, that's for sure. In competition, the way you look is 50% of your presentation, so costumes are a critical part of the couple's image. In the 1980s, women wore one-color sequin gowns with a modest open back. The dresses had layers and layers of petticoats, so many that the costume engulfed the man. In 1985, designers had done away with the petticoats, thank goodness. A more flowing Ginger Rogers-type dress was back in with a longer back line. A few years later, feathers were the rage, followed by the pleated skirts, then wing sleeves flowing from the ladies' arms became standard wear. Today's ball gown looks less like a costume and more like high fashion evening wear. It should fit just like a glove on the upper part of the body and be able to flounce, bounce, and flow sensually over the hips and legs. The object, as always, is to highlight and magnify the graceful lines of the body. One costume, of course, has remained unchanged. Every man in the standard division still wears tails and white tie. It's hard to improve on this classic look. In the Latin division, the operative rule is if you've got it, flaunt it, and if you don't, flaunt it anyway. Two decades ago, men wore black skin-tight pantsuits or jumpsuits. By the mid-1980s, their suits matched their partner's colorful costumes. Then came the pleated trouser with a blousy Cuban shirt. I kind of like that one. Followed by the bolero look. In style for a while was the baggier pant with a high waistband. Today, the men's costumes are better than ever. They're more relaxed and allow for greater movement. The woman's dress in the Latin category, well, that is what there is of it, should be snazzy and sensual and should sparkle and be suggestive. The object here is to accentuate what you've got and how you move it. Two decades ago, the woman's costume in the Latin division were plain and modest. The material was heavy and the styles were a little bit restrictive. But as dance moves became faster and more technically demanding, dancers insisted on lighter fabrics that offered a lot more flexibility. By 1984, revealing high leg cuts and low open backs were the rage. In the mid-80s, the Las Vegas showgirl costume arrived on the scene. Then came the West Side Story dress with a flared skirt, which dancers put to good use. I like that one as well. In the mid-90s, we saw the arrival of the seductive two-piece costume. The low-waisted skirts accentuated the hip motions, essential to the Latin style of dancing. Today, the Latin costumes are sensual, dramatic, and ever-evolving. They are designed to complement the music and add to the dancer's visual impact on the floor.